Hi guys, I'm Tracy and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be going over all of the brushes that I have from the brands Mizuho and Muragishi Sangyo. So in case you haven't heard, they're going to be increasing their prices on July 1st. So in you know a couple of weeks. So I thought I would show you guys the brushes that I have and you guys can figure out if you want to get them. They haven't said what the increase is going to be. So I can't imagine it being, you know, like 30%. It might be something around 10 to 15% if I had to make a guess, but we'll, we will see. So, um, so let me start out with, I'll start off with the Muragishi Sangyo brushes. So I've only really discovered this brand maybe in the last five or six months. They're a smaller brush house, so they don't have as many different brushes. But I am really, really happy with the brushes that I do have. And I'll, um, I'll show you guys the two different um, lines that I have. This one with the uh, purple um, Sakura flowers. This line is called My Sakura. And then they have another one called Hana Sakura, which looks like this. With this line, I only have one, and this is their cheek brush. They have a powder brush, and um, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm not really interested in those. So this is the only one I'm going to have from that, that brush line, and I really, really like this. I'm going to demo uh, as many of these brushes as I can. So let me start out with the, I would say my, my favorite Muragishi Sangyo brush, and that is the cheek brush. Now this is a completely round ferrule, and these... Uh, these two are goat and squirrel mixes, the two face brushes I have from them. And then the eye brush that I have is gray squirrel. And it's a very, very soft um, brush. But I do like this one a lot for powder blush. And I'm going to show you how, how it works. Let me see. Maybe I'll do this side. I do have my makeup on. I put a little foundation to try to you know, cover up what I had on. I got this new blush from Huda Beauty called It's Healthy Peach. It's such a beautiful blush. Let me, but it's not very pigmented. So we'll see how, the, if this doesn't show up, I'll, I'll use the, the Dior Forever Rosy Glow. So I pat with this brush and I really like how how lightly and how already blended your blush looks when you use this. It's really, really beautiful. And I would say this is one of my favorite uh, round blush brushes because when companies make bl uh, br bl blush brushes with this round ferrule, they tend to be a little more tapered, but this one is domed and the density and the softness is perfect for powder blush. And I really, really like the way my blush comes out when I use this brush. Okay, so I think you can kind of see that. It looks very matte, I would say. And one of these blushes is not matte. The Huda Beauty one is supposed to have some luminosity to it. But when I use this brush, I don't see any luminosity okay now I'll show you guys the powder brush so this one is a pinch ferrule and it's got that um, standard paddle shape but this paddle shape brush is much longer than most of the brushes that I have in this size so um, I don't use this one a whole lot and I don't know why I think you know it's it's a little bit too flexible to, to really like powder under the eyes. I feel like I would want something a little bit firmer or a little bit shorter. Like it's not quite as good for, for this area as let's say another brush, but um, I'm gonna just try this for the first time with the Dior Powder No Powder and see if it picks it up. So yeah, it, it does pick it up pretty well. And I'm going to just powder like this side of my face. It's 
and I believe I've used this brush for bronzer and it is nice because because it's so flexible you can do this and it doesn't disturb your makeup it's actually very comfortable to use like I'm, I'm not afraid that it's gonna mess up what I have on but it is meant to be a powder brush and I really yeah I really liked how that came out it kind of like smoothed everything out that powder I'm using is kind of difficult to pick up so I like how it did kind of smooth everything out on this side okay so that is the powder brush and I do recommend this I just haven't I haven't had it too long uh, and now I'm going to use the eye brush and this is it's a packing brush I wish it were a little bit fluffier then maybe I can do more it also lines but let me do one of these shimmers with this brush and just give you an idea of how it performs and I really do like this one this was a recommendation from one of you guys and I do really like it I just have a lot of brushes in this size and shape so I don't use this a whole lot but not because of the brush So I would say this is the best use of this brush to apply shimmers. Or you can, you know, do um, like darken up this area with a matte shade. But it also is good for lining. I wouldn't say the best for lining, but, you know, if you wanted to line while you're doing the top lid, that should work out. So I like how I did that. And uh, I don't see any fallout. So that is, I would say that's a, a sign of a good packing brush when, you know, you don't have to clean up all the fallout. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the Hana Sakura brush. And this one is fairly new, but I've been using this a lot. And I've been mainly using it to powder the under eyes. I really like it for that task. And let me get a loose powder. So, but um, just take into consideration, mine is fairly new. So it's just gonna, it's gonna be a little bit flatter than it's meant to be. Like after I wash this a couple more times, I think it'll really fluff up. But I really like how it lightly applies powder. But I also did my blush with this as well because it's that really nice shape. But um, I, I do like this for when you have to powder in areas where you don't want the area to look powdery, like this area. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the Mizuho brushes that I have. And Mizuho, at least in my opinion, it's one of those brands that are very affordable. They have really high quality brushes. The um, This is just my opinion, but their brushes are very basic. You know, there's not a lot of decoration. Oh, I forgot the My Sakura line. I also have the foundation brush and I really do like this one. It's not so much better than other foundation brushes that I have that are like this. It's very similar to the Chikuhoto G10, just bigger. And it's um, it's flat across, it's not angled. And I use this for foundation and for cream um, bronzer. So let me, I'll show you guys a little bit of that. I'll use the Stila Putty bronzer here. So it's good because of that size is that size gets into this area right here and it gets this area really well too. But I think the, this brush is equally good at foundation 
than it is um, cream bronzer. So that's how I use the foundation brush. All right, so back to the Mizuho brushes. So I have one eye brush and two face brushes, and both of these face brushes are meant for liquids, and they have other ones. They have one like this that's not angled, and for a long time, this was my go-to um, cream contour uh, brush. This is the MB113. I believe this is one of their most popular brushes and it's really good. I'm not sure how if you could really see this online, but this, especially this line of brush, it's they're so solidly made. They're pretty, they're, they're not weighty, but they just feel very solid. They don't shed and they're just very reliable. I think Mizuho is good for someone that is not looking to get to, you know, collect brushes, but someone that just wants maybe six or eight brushes and they're gonna use those um, pretty much every day. These will hold up very well to everyday use and to washing a lot. I've washed this brush many, many times and as well as the CMP 510. This is made of synthetic. This is a round ferrule and this is a really great um, foundation or cream blush, cream contour, pretty much any kind of cream product this will be able to handle. And it's very dense and it's very, very sturdy. I, I would say, you know, if you're a makeup artist or you're someone that's kind of rough on your brushes or you have to wash them a lot, this one is a really good choice, very affordable. Uh, both of these, both very affordable for now, and I think such great values. Just for me, because I'm a collector, you know, these don't really stand out as far as the appearance. They're very basic. So um, again, more for someone that is just going to have, um, you know, a very select number of brushes and use those brushes every day. I think these are really good choices. And then the last one is... One of my favorite eye brushes, I've had this one for quite a while, and that's the CMP 527. Now, this is the closest brush that I have found to the Wayne Goss 4. It's right between the Wayne Goss 4 and the Wayne Goss 3. So I'll put it between the two. This one, the Mizuho brush is made of gray squirrel and horsehair, and it's different because it has that really sharp point. So this is the Mizuho in the middle. And I use it the same way as I use the, the Wayne Goss 3, either to lay down the first shade or to do a final blend. It does both of the, those tasks very well. It's going to be different from a pure gray scroll hair in that it's more durable and it has more snap. So this one is, so this one is blue scroll. This one is silkier. This one is still silky, but it just feels firmer. So I do think this would also last very long, but because of the squirrel hairs, I would be very gentle with this brush. And I'll give you a little idea of how I use this one. So I'm gonna use the same palette, the NARS, I think NARS Unwrapped is what this was called. So this will be good for laying down your transition shade or even deepening out the crease area. A little big for lower lash line, but because of the shape, it's really good if you have hooded eyes as well. And for just doing a final blend. Okay, so that's a CMP5527. Five, and I, I think I wanted to show, oh, um, I'm gonna show you guys really quick the Hana Sakura brush with blush on this side. 
because I, I used the other one last time. So I'll use the same, the Huda Beauty. I'll kind of mix it with the Dior actually. So if you want to just do like a smaller area with blush, I think this is a really good choice. So that's what you can expect with this brush. This one, I guess, is a little bit more specific than the, the My Sakura blush brush. But both are beautiful. You know, the, they create a very beautiful finish. I would say it, it looks pretty matte and it looks a little luminous because of the lights. But I would say with both of these, you can expect your blush or whatever powder product to look pretty matte with these. Okay, so that's going to do it. That's those are the only brushes that I have from those two brands. If I have to pick, you know, my top three, uh, I would say the Murageshi Sangyo My Sakura Blush Brush. This one is really good. And then I would say the Mizuho CMP 510. And, you know, the, the rest of them, they're all good, but I, I don't know. I, I can't really decide. You know, I would say if you're more of a collector, I think this would be a good one because it's, you know, it's got this beautiful handle. But if you're someone that's just looking to have like a set, you know, amount of brushes that you're going to use on a regular basis. I would say maybe the MB113 if you use cream um, bronzer and cream contour. I think this is a really good one. Or cream blush. Oh, maybe not. Maybe for cream contour better. But if you don't use a lot of cream products, then probably the Hana Sakura, Sakura blush brush or the Mizuho um, little blender brush. I do have another... Mizuho brush coming, but it's one of those small little liner brushes. I just wanted to try out one of their other brushes. I did almost order like a bunch of Mizuho brushes just because of this impending price increase, but it's not a brand that I'm like super excited about. It's not so much a collector's brand. So uh, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I will put some pictures of these brushes on my Instagram after I wash them. So you guys can get like better, a better look uh, at what these are like up close. All right. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.